the first thing that I think of when I think of the Gordon School, the first word that comes to my mind is shalom. And shalom doesn't only mean hello and goodbye and peace, but it means wholeness and fullness. And I think that when you're part of this community, you learn what it means to be a whole person. You learn what it means to be a part of a whole community. And it's something that you can't find anywhere else. I see after 30 years of this school, when I meet people that uh, came out of this great institution, uh, the kind of people they are, the kind of human beings, it's, it's an amazing experience. Every year, there was always a different teacher and a different personality and someone who helped me grow in one aspect of my life. And I really am the man I am today because of them. Sammy and Norma Gordon founded this school against all odds. And today, I think they have to be so proud. The way Beth David is today is how I always wanted it to be. You can't get him out of the building. I mean, when it's the end of the day, they're lingering because they like being here. I've never seen children love school the way the kids here love school. It's a wonderful place to be. Our teachers spend the time really understanding each child and really figuring out what is going to spark their interest, what's going to make them come alive, how are they going to get this and find the relevance. Every student here learns differently and we want every child to feel good about themselves and confident and grow socially, emotionally, as well as academically. Beginning in the early childhood, throughout our day school, we present experiences to the children so that we can uh, foster the, the best way that they can possibly learn. There's really just a innate love of learning. It's an inviting atmosphere, it's friendly, it's warm. It's just a wonderful place to be. Years after the original foundation of the school, we created the Tikva Center for kids in the spectrum of autism. Most programs, what we find is children will be self-contained, where they'll be just in a classroom with children with ASD, whereas we uh, give the opportunity for them to be with their typical peers. We do a lot of the curriculum that they also use in the day school, and then we supplement it with curriculums that are more for our kids. Over time, we realized that not only do the children with autism learn from the typical peers, but the typical peers really learn how to be uh, compassionate, empathetic. For some kids, it's a little different to learn because their minds are a little different. That's why we have the Tikva Center to help them. Because of the Tikva Center and our special attention to the way these children need to learn, we now are even better at educating our neurotypical students in their way because we're aware that you move from strength to strength. Entering sixth grade, I was nervous. Um, I was going to Ransom Everglades. I heard a lot about it. What I soon discovered was how well Beth David prepared me for my new life in middle school and eventually high school. It really just gave me the confidence to be the best student I could be. So I entirely credit my success throughout Ransom Everglades and now at Penn to my initial time with Beth David. The concept of Judaism really are concepts of humanity and it helps us be a stronger place for learning. The mixture between great academics and Jewish values, I think it, it's incredible. My dream really is to be able to have my children come to the Gordon School at Beth David so they can receive the same fantastic education that I did. We're very lucky to have this place.